I'm ready to go though. <clears throat> if you guys were here last night, you remember how we were just being dissed by the whole entire town, including Pierre. Pierre mainly. Pierre Pierre thinks he, he's a, he's hot. I give him my vegetables, I sell him vegetables, and then what does he do? He takes the credit. He takes the credit. What kind of devilish person would do that? Am I right? What kind of evil human being would take credit for someone else's work? Like Pierre. Pierre is a sellout. He's more than that. He's a fraud. And we know that his wife cheated on him. That he's raising a other man's child is like Pierre. Your downfall is coming, bro. We know all your secrets. So don't worry, Pierre will get his own. I hear that his daughter, quote unquote, daughter makes bombs. Maybe we can make use of that. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. There's a point where the job board gets bigger. Like they become even bigger jobs. Or there's a new job. Oh. Ah, hello there, Casimir. You showed up at the perfect time. It's our new special orders board. Robin, I built it from scratch. Damn. He's trying to take all the credit. He's just like Pierre. This town, bro. This town. He just shit himself? What was that noise? What is up with this town? Why is everybody a fraud here? There's no fucking way you saw that. How do you see me? How do you see me? She's literally walking away. These motherfuckers are more nosy about people digging through their garbage than they are about, like, people getting into their relationships hey who's on the big boy job board though oh shit this is like low-key this is my like father-in-law right here what's up i may fight with my parents a lot but i know they're just looking out for me they're doing what they think best yeah that dude is not your dad though i don't know why i'm saying this to you don't tell anyone <laughs> yeah that motherfucker is not your dad though you are a fraud pierre fuck you pierre i hate pierre what's wrong with pierre pierre when when i harvest my crops right I sell them to Pierre. Pierre, he resells my crops. And when he resells my crops, he takes all the credit. He's like, yeah, I'm the one that planted them, farmed them myself. And then everyone around the town is like, Pierre sold me your garbage blueberry. <laughs> so the only shit that like Pierre sells and he says that is mine is the garbage shit. He's like, yeah, Pierre sold me this blueberry from your farm and it tasted like shit it's like bro <laughs> but then he takes all the credit for all the good stuff that i sell abigail what are you doing out here i can't even talk to her because i already talked to her today abigail is plotting yeah she's not the only one that knows that's not her real fam she knows more and more people are trying to find out that that's a fake family that she has that is not a real family abigail just come on over we could create a real family I could show her a real family. Me and Buford are more of a real family than she and her parents ever will be. That's all I'm saying. Pick a noun. Girthy. No, that's my bad. That's not. <laughs> Dick. Balls. Balls. There you go. That's what I choose. I've never liked playing Stardew, but I enjoyed watching it. It's a, it's a type of game you got to, you know, really get into. You got to get into a little bit of the role playing of it. It's a better way to enjoy it. We're in deep to the... Uh, get a girlfriend arc get some bitches arc is the current arc we're on character arc revenge pierre revenge arc what are we at oh wow. no we're not at six hearts yet we get one more heart with her we could do the next uh, event with her abigail please i just want to talk to you please i'm lonely buford doesn't talk buford doesn't talk bro he just barks i don't understand what buford says i need to interact with abigail hello hey we had one of those <clears throat> hey, we had one of those corns you sold at the shop for dinner last night. I guess it was starting to go bad and my dad couldn't bear to throw it out. Pierre? <laughs> yeah, I am growing pumpkins on my farm. Save one for me. All right, we'll do. Fucking Pierre. He knew that the corn was going bad. So, of course, he gives it to Abigail, bro. Oh, my God. Pierre wants to fucking die. Why is my plan to break a family apart? Because his family has hurt me. Pierre and his family have hurt me, bro. I'm trying to take their daughter away from their family. Pierre isn't even the father of Abigail either. So that means Caroline has cheated on Pierre. And Pierre keeps on taking the credit for every single crop that I sell him. Except for when it's a bad crop. Then Pierre's like, oh yeah, Casimir sold this to us. Like he tries to make me look bad. He's a fucking asshole. And he deserves everything that's coming to him. I can't wait to break this family apart slowly. Caroline belonged to the streets. That's fact. All right. Get ready, everyone. Prepare your ears. You guys ready? What's up, Abigail? Last night I dreamt that my left hand had turned into a gigantic lip. The fuck? Ah, she's so hilarious sometimes. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Hold on, I'm about to Google search this. Stardew Valley. Can I sell to Jojo Mart? I'm selling my shit to the Jojo Mart. 
They said that you can sell your shit to Jojo Mart, so I'm going to Jojo Mart. Fuck off, Pierre. Go kill yourself. Is your character a duck? No, she got a big nose. Hey, what's up? What? I thought I could sell stuff here. How do I sell stuff here? All right, I guess I'm selling through the uh, through the bin because I'm not selling to Pierre anymore. Stardew, but I break the news to a devastated husband. Hey, Abigail, what's up? I gotta get good on one of the parents' sides if I'm dad, you know to marry her because at least one of the parents will be like oh casimir you're such a good person of course you can marry my daughter <laughs> stardew home record challenge damn bro hurricane what was that <laughs> what was that noise an explosion was heard in the night ah yes typical stardew valley just a fucking explosion going off in the middle of the night if you hear an explosion you attempt to locate abigail <laughs> that might not be a bad idea abigail might be the one to go to in terms of an explosion let me go talk to her anyways this dude willie wants an eggplant willie what you doing with that eggplant there's a character in Stardew who flat out mails you bombs and said he found them in his shed. The only thing Abigail has in the kitchen is the anarchist cookbook. <laughs> that's that's a good one. Pierre, I will be selling stuff to you, but don't don't take this as a sign of friendship or anything. I still do not fuck with you. Me and you are not homies. Stream title sounds a bit sinister. What do you mean sounds a bit sinister? It is sinister. I'm trying to home wreck. I've only been sick like twice. Ever since COVID started. So like the last two, two, almost three years. Shit. Yeah. Including like the year before. Like damn near. I barely get sick. It's because I drank, you know, the pirate ride at Disneyland. because I drank the water from there. Just took a nice big sip of the water. That gave me immunity. But I hate washing my hands at somebody's place and they don't got lotion. Like how do people wash their hands and not have lotion like next to the, or in their bathroom? Like I can't be the only motherfucker that be in dry ass hands when I wash my hands. Like motherfuckers just deal with like them crusty dry hands. Where the fuck is she? What should I do tonight? I was thinking about dyeing my hair again. What do you think? Oh, fuck. Say black or you're racist. <laughs> so dye it black is plus 10. Why not blonde is plus 10. Bubblegum pink is plus 20. And then just saying, I like I like it the way it is, is plus zero. Because, you know, that's the safe answer. What? Bruh. I, I was alt tabbing back into the game. What the fuck? It just chose whatever was at the top. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, whatever. I mean, uh, plus 10 points. I want I wanted the plus 20, but plus 10 is fine. It's kind of, I kind of want to restart the day. <laughs> Should I restart the day, bro? Those plus 20 points. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, restart. I'm fucking restarting. <laughs> it's not like we did anything today anyways. What do we do today? We just farmed right here. Cutscene. Abigail cutscene. What the fuck is she doing out here with a sword? I guess you're wondering why I'm in the graveyard at this hour. Kind of. I be doing weirder things late at night. Well, I'm here because it's the best place in town to find some privacy. Really? There's like a whole spa top left nobody goes to. And I'm all sweaty because I've been practicing my swordsmanship. Damn, we better fight right here. Hey, what do you think? I'm too weak to swing a blade. I didn't say anything. I didn't say nothing. Sorry, I guess I'm getting a little defensive. Let me see how defensive you are with that sword. Let's fight. You see, I want to explore the mountain caves, but I know it's too dangerous to go there unarmed. You've used a sword before, haven't you? All right, so it says that we get plus 10 friendships for the top two answers. Everything else, if you put no, you get nothing. If you put yes, but it's dangerous, you get a minus 100. <laughs> yes, and it's exciting. I love swinging swords. See, you understand why I'm out here then. I love murder. I lived in the valley my whole life, but I've never really done anything memorable. I want to go on an adventure. Let's see how good he... Oh. Here comes the fucking... The fun killer. <laughs> Dad! What's up with their hair? Where the fuck did he come from? I've been looking all over for you. Your mother wants you to come home and help with dinner. <laughs> Bruh. Pierre, if you don't get your four, uh, four eyes, head ass. What are you doing in this graveyard anyways? This is no place for a young lady. But there's four graves here. Mind your own business. You think I should be at home cooking dinner because I'm a girl, don't you? Damn. Hey, we're home wrecking right now, bruh. We are home wrecking. You're really stuck in the past. Damn. What's she going to say next? She's going to say, you're not my father. Oh, damn. Look at Pierre's face. Let's get out of here, Cashman. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Wait, you should probably bring your sword. That costs money. Are you coming or not? Come on, Cashman. Fuck Pierre. We don't fuck with you. Yeah, that's right, Pierre. Fuck you. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come back. Okay, my dad won't find us here. Can you believe my parents were ever young? They don't understand my perspective at all. I know, I know. They grew up in a different era with different values. It still ticks me off since I... Damn, how old are your parents, bro? Not that big of a different era. Well, thanks for hearing me out, Casimir. Could you help untangle my hair from this bush? Let's look at the hearts, though. Yes, sir. We are at that six. We gave her a gift. 
It's looking good. It's looking good. When her birthday comes, that's easy points right there. So their family's already falling apart, bro. Their family's already apart. So technically, I'm not even home wrecking. I'm more of like, I'm like the, uh, you know, like how people like cut a ribbon for like an event, like grand opening. I'm like the person that's handing the scissors to the person that's going to cut the ribbon. I'm handing Abigail the scissors and she's going to cut the ribbon. She's going to do the finishing blow. I'm just there to watch. Abigail, you home? Here you go. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks dope. The fuck? I gave her a, a rock. You okay, Abigail? Just say, like, don't even think about it as private. Oh, what, your hamster is private? <laughs> she said, this looks delicious. Abigail, I gave you a rock. I gave you a quartz. <laughs> I gave her a stone. I had to buy the bouquet from Pierre. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> Did you know that Maru loves diamond? It would make a great gift. Yeah, okay, bro. <laughs> yeah, I love diamonds too. It'd make a great gift. Somebody give me diamonds. You should give my daughter diamonds. It'll make a great gift. <laughs> you should give my daughter $10,000. I think that would make a great gift. She said she loves it. Elan on Ness Sne. Hitam do sit thou to e listen no moo and he town olate wanu pitel do el. Facts on God. She eating minerals like chips. Yeah, that's kind of weird dialogue. I don't know why the fuck she said that shit. She's some mmm, these, that quartz is bussin'. I know there's some character that's just straight up like depressed. Is it Shane or is it Sebastian? Shane, that motherfucker's just depressed. <laughs> yeah, he's an asshole too. Just because you're depressed doesn't mean you gotta be an asshole. Me and my homies do not fuck with Shane, just like we don't fuck with Pierre. If you're an asshole, I'm an asshole, plain and simple. He'll open up to you when you make friends. Yeah, like I wanna be friends with a dickhead. I'm low key had that experience IRL though, but like this is a video game, they should know better. I remember way back in the day, I'm talking about little game raiders. I'm talking about like probably like some first grade type shit. Like I remember, I remember this one kid on the bus. He was like fucking with me, bullying me low key. I've been bullied before. It's nothing to be ashamed of. But like he was bullying me in like first grade. And then I remember, I think I hit him with this joke. I hit him in this joke. And next thing I know, me and him are homies. I hit him with this joke. We dapped each other up. We're like, that's my boy. Just like that, changed him. The power of Game Raiders jokes. I do that a lot, honestly, throughout life. Like a lot of people that like try and fuck around with me, like I turn them right right into like people that are like chill with me right away. I just got that power. My charisma on plus 10, that's all I'm saying. What if Pierre's trying to hit his own daughter because he knows it's not his daughter? Now that's a real conspiracy theory right there. Emily's just ugly. It's just unfortunate for her. I don't know why they made her sprite look so goofy. And then it's like the clothes she wears is also goofy as hell. Um, they did Emily wrong. She seems like a cool person. And she got no style either. That's like, that's a double negative. Double negatives equal a positive though. Yeah, I'm positive I won't fuck with her. It's crazy because she's my highest next heart. Emily ain't even ugly. Just scary. <laughs> Demetrius is like, oh, Maru, she loves diamonds. That's her favorite gift. Shit, me too. <laughs> me too, Demetrius. I love diamonds too. I wish somebody would give me diamonds. I want to play Skyrim on stream, bro. I want to do like a goofy ass Skyrim run on stream. Maybe one day. Abigail, let me just, you know, talk to her real quick. Hi, your hair looks cool today. Did you do something different? I'm bald. But here you go for your birthday. You remember my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. That's it. Is it just me or does Abigail play too many video games? Maybe I'm a little old fashioned. Bro, it's her birthday. Why are you talking shit about your daughter on her birthday? That's fucked up. This family really is dysfunctional. But look at that though. Yes sir, eight hearts. Can I buy a bouquet or do I have to wait for a letter? Do you sell the bouquet yet? Oh, he does. I'll accept this, thank you. Let's fucking go. I didn't know you felt the same. Of course, look at me. Look at my mask. I've been giving you gifts almost every fucking day, talking to you every day. How would you not know that I felt the same? <laughs> Imagine giving gifts to somebody every day and they don't even realize you like them. She blushing the facts. We're in there, boys. Nobody can ever call me maidenless again. Look at this. Nine hearts? Nine hearts and we're easily gonna get 10 hearts because we're gonna do the event the next stream. 